Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a hedgehog. This is a dry fly. This would imitate a stone fly or a grasshopper. And uh, the hook I have in the vise is a 5262. This is a size 12. And this is actually a nymph streamer fly. This is too extra long and too extra heavy. And this is from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. This fly is all deer hair or elk hair if you want to use that. So the extra heavy hook isn't going to make a difference. It's going to be a nice sturdy hook. The thread I'm going to use is 3 ot. This is 140. And we're going to start the thread. This is a kind of a dull red color or a rose color. We're going to start that about halfway and take that back. We're going to start with the tail. For the tail I'm going to use a yellow deer hair dyed yellow. I'm going to use this darker piece and we're just going to take a small clump approximately one-third of what you would use for a muddler minnow. I'm going to take the fuzz out of it, take that under hair out, let's give it a quick combing there, and we want that tail to be just maybe the length of the amount of thread we have on there. We just want that little bit of color contrast. We're going to go ahead and tie this down. We're going to tie that tight and then we're going to tie the rest, tie in the rest going up the shank. I'm going to palmer it forward, palmer the thread forward. And when we get near the eye, we're going to stop. We don't want to get it right to the eye. And we're going to tie this all down firmly. And this will help give us a little bit of uh, thickness to the body. Take our excess and trim that off. Trim that off tight. You can tie this using a bigger thread and you wouldn't have to put this uh, tail all the way to the front. I'm going to tidy up that front there. I'm going to spin, spin my thread counterclockwise to get it to lay flat. And bring that back to the rear. Some nice tight, nice tight wraps on there. Now I'm going to take a contrasting color. I'm going to take a brown deer hair. And we're going to take the hair about the size, half the size of a muddler head. I'm going to put them in the hair stacker. And we're going to take them out with the hair pointing towards the rear. Pull out any loose ones. And we want this first stack to go a little bit beyond the tail. Give that a couple of wraps right there. Then I'm going to pick up the tag end in sections.
and secure the tag end in sections like that. Pick everything up and wrap right in front of it. And I'm going to remove the tag end. And we're going to secure the remainder, whatever we have left there. And bring that thread up. And keep it about 2 to 3 millimeters from the wraps. I'm going to take a little bit of head cement and put it on there. Put a little bit on top. And put a little bit on the bottom. Going to take another stack, take it out of the hair stacker with the tips pointing towards the rear. Going to take our hair and we're going to make this a little bit shorter than the length of the first one. Give it a couple of tight wraps. Take the tag ends and lift them up. And wrap it in front. We're going to remove our tag ends once again. Make sure we get all of them. Spin the thread counterclockwise. Put a little bit of head cement on that. And let that soak in. Then we're going to tie them in. Not as long as the first. Put a little bit more of the head cement on. Take our next bunch. And we're going to tie them in. Lift up our tag ends. I'm going to lift that right up at the front, tie that in tight, and we're going to remove that excess. Now I'm going to take one final bunch and I'm going to make this one a little bit larger. Now when we take these out we're going to keep these pointing forward. I'm going to measure these up and we want those hairs to be the length of the hook shank. I'm going to tie them in right there. Put a couple of wraps right on there. Tighten that up. There.
Then we're going to put a couple of more wraps. We want to keep it away from the eye more or less. And bring that stack back. I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it back. Got to get that a little bit closer. There we go. Bring that back. We're going to fold this back like a bullet head. And you want that head to be halfway around the entire fly. Now I'm going to take a barred crazy leg. And we're going to put that in place and we want that leg to be just about the length of the to the end of the fly. And the front one we want that coming off the head there a little ways. One on the opposite side. We'll trim that off. I'm going to give it a whip finish. Gonna give that one last coating of head cement. Take that all the way around. And here we have the hedgehog. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.